so much since the last 3 months with all of these work from home scenes i think i've been working with my laptop in the most atrocious postures and i've screwed up my back so bad i don't want to end up like that i got to do something most companies in our country are still working from home when we have no clarity on when they should resume but i have realized the importance of workplace ergonomics and postures I mean initially in the first few weeks of lockdown I used to sit in real bad positions and I've developed crazy back aches. You can see a glimpse of how I used to work and how bad that used to be in my video called the crazy new normal and I will link that in the description box below. I know most of us are looking at the situation as temporary and we don't want to spend too much on setting up a workplace at home and I fall into the same category as well. So I set up a basic budget for myself. I kept in mind the postures, the ergonomics and the budget and I kind of came up with some solutions that i want to share with all of you these will be pocket friendly and we will be using minimal resources so let's go so i set up a total budget of 10k for myself i majorly need a chair and a table and i thought if i have any money left from my budget i'll splurge on some accessories but let's see now here's what's important first for a table we just need a ledge or a surface on top of which we can keep the stuff we usually work with but what's really crucial is the chair you might have heard this word called ergonomics it's just basically the study of your efficiency when you work in a day now how is all of this coming into this video where we talk about a table and a chair in a work study of course it does your posture your comfort is really important and decides how much effective is your work when you sit and work throughout the day many a times bad seating postures can result in you having the risk to musculoskeletal injuries and this is something you really want to avoid there are quite a lot of assessments online and you can take these and that will calculate the risk factor that you have on your body parts by the way you sit what are two that i can uh, think on the top of my mind are reba that's a rapid entire body assessment and there's rula that's a rapid upper limb assessment there are multiple other assessments i will link them in the description box below you can go and check the risk factor that you have So coming back to the point, you need a good chair that gives your back, your neck, your arms, your elbows, wrist, all of these good support. It's very, very important that you invest in a chair that has an arm adjustment, a back support, an incline adjustment, and a height adjustment at the bare minimum. If you work for five or more hours a day, these are some things that you shouldn't be compromising on at all. So I've done a good market research for my chair, and out of the ten thousand rupees that I had allocated for my chair and table, basically the work set down, I have spent eight thousand one hundred rupees on my chair itself. I did find chairs starting from five thousand with these features, but I kind of spent a little more than five thousand. I spent eight thousand one hundred rupees. Yes, I'm left with just about two thousand for the table, and I will let you know how I've come up with a table set up for myself. But I have bought a chair from Featherlite. I will link the model number in the description box below and see if there is an online buying option, uh, so that you can go ahead and buy this. You should, however, go ahead and do a market research in your locality about how chairs are ranging from in your locality. But do not compromise on the ergonomics factor at all. Now I'm just left with. Thousand rupees for my table, and I didn't have my hopes too high, but I still went to IKEA since I'm based out of Hyderabad to see if there are any options there for me in this budget. And to my surprise, there actually were. The table I bought is for two thousand six hundred rupees. I will link it in the description box below and see if there is a home delivery option as well. Uh, there are other options too. In fact, there was a table that I was getting for fifteen hundred rupees as low as that. Uh, there are. plenty of options plenty of colors plenty of leg options for the table so if you can go on to ikea website probably you'll find out these options for yourself from my personal experience in ikea the chairs were pretty fancy and coming in a good budget but they didn't have the ergonomics features i was talking about a while ago 
so I would suggest against buying fancy furniture uh, and you know go for those traditional office furniture which has all of these features. They might not look as pretty in the house, but it's really essential to ensure that your body is not getting damaged. Anyway, if you're not looking at spending any money on your table, and if 2000 rupees is not something that you're getting a table within, then I still have options for you. I will show you a couple of options which you can actually look around your house and reuse them as your tables. Let's go. Now, number one, if you have a built-in workstation like this one at home, nothing like it. I set up my workstation here and I usually do not require too many things and I like to keep it minimal so I don't have too many holders, sticky, stands, storage and all of that. All I have is my file holder, my money plant, headphones, a frame with a lot of cute quotes that my friend had written for me. Ashwati, if you're watching, thank you so much. My laptop, obviously, my pen stand, a book where I write all of my stuff. You can see the bin here. I have a whiteboard right behind this one where I write all of my important stuff for the day. I have a table lamp, which again is from Ikea and is beautiful. So I'll link that in the description box below. A tissue box and a jug of water to keep me hydrated. That's all. And if you don't have a built-in workstation like this one, let's continue looking for other options in your house. Option number two guys is a console table. A lot of us would have these kind of tables in our halls, dining halls against empty walls where we keep stuff just like that on this. And honestly guys, I got this from IKEA for 2600 rupees and the plan was to use this as a workstation now and then put it back in the form of a console table like how you just saw a minute ago. For now, this is my workstation. So more or less, all of my stuff is exactly the same as the ones that I've shown you in the workstation. And there's just additionally some nuts here and my jaljeera for that day because it was really hot. But all you need additionally here in this setup is an extension box if your plug point is far away. And I've used some 3M wire holders on the rod where you can see the wires going through and voila, here's my workstation. No similar ledges? Let's continue looking then. How about a surface of this sort with storage under it? I have one such in my bedroom here and one in my crockery unit. But how do we sit here? Mm, watch. Yeah, huh? this is the solution. Come on guys, if you're looking for a work desk and you do not want to spend too much, this is the best thing you can do. Again, my desk here is almost the same things that I usually have. Just that today it's not Jaljeera, it's Al Gujia. I also have an outdoor seating set at home. No vacations coming up for us anyhow. So why not use this in your balcony or by a large window? We need to breathe in some fresh air and get some vitamin D during these times. I've used my set and set up a small section outside as my workstation. It's the monsoon season. It's so beautiful outside. And of course it gets humid sometimes. So I do have this little fan that I bought on Amazon for just 700 bucks. I'll link it in the description box below. So I have my moisturizer, my Odomos and my pen stand in this flower pot here. And my minimal stuff that I require on this table. So now for the final step, change the chair to your office chair. <laughs> And that's where the height adjustment comes in, guys. So this table is actually pretty low when compared to the other work desks that I've been working with. So the height adjustment comes into picture where I lower my chair down and fit it exactly the way I need it for this table. And if you have none of this at home, just feel free to use your dining table, move the chairs away, or maybe just one chair away, fit in your office chair and then start working. Just use any other table, but ensure that you're using an office chair with all of these ergonomics features. I personally sat in real bad positions throughout the first few weeks of work from home and I broke my back so bad. Now I have to like do a back exercises for 10-15 minutes every morning to feel better. So I really hope you guys start focusing on a few of these little aspects that can actually make a huge difference in your life. And I hope this video has been helpful for all of you and I'll get back very soon to you. Oh,